I, I'll restate the point that I made earlier. There's a lot of different types of tax structure, and we can, re we can restructure the tax structure. I've been trying to change the tax tables for a decade, and so I was pleased that one of the principles embodied in the discussion that we're having is to lower tax rates for people at the five and seven thousand dollar income level. It doesn't matter what sort of tax structure you have. You have to look at whether or not it's efficient. And that can only be measured in terms of your, your priorities that you set. Um, Mr. Nesbitt says that we have one of the lowest corporate tax structures. Anybody who's in business knows that for the last decade or more, we've been going to a user pays system. So if you look at the fee structure for every business that wants to expand or has a DEQ permit uh, pending or uh, you know, literally the hundreds of agencies that require fees from uh, business owners, we're about 23rd, 24th, 25th percentile if you include the fees along with the straight taxes. So you know, because we've moved most of our state agencies into the other funds category, and we extract those other funds from the small businesses, that's something the taxpayer doesn't pay directly, they pay it indirectly. Because those folks in business that have to pay those other fund fees mark up their products and sell to consumers. So let's not be confused about this. We have one taxpayer in Oregon, it's you. We have many potential tax structures, and you can choose any one you want. But unless you connect your tax structure to the right set of priorities and make it sustainable, connected to the growth rate of your economy, you're always going to be over your skis, just like we've been for the last couple of decades in Oregon. And I would like to make a, a point clear to folks. This isn't a Democrat problem. Because when the Republicans were in the majority, and I know that was in the last century, <laughs> I spent 14 years where Republicans were in the majority, so... Well, I sure feel your pain now. <laughs> uh, I was the revenue chair. I preceded uh, my illustrious colleague as the revenue chair for two complete cycles. And these were up cycles. And we spent money. Boy, did we grow government. Probably equal to or larger than some of the expansions that I see now. Because the... The, the, the temptation and the pressure to deliver benefits to constituents is almost irresistible in that building. So it's not a problem that just belongs to Democrats. It's a problem that belongs to state government. The problem, we actually put the kicker in the Constitution. We mean the citizens of Oregon put the kicker in the Constitution. It's a mechanism to limit spending because there's no discipline. When people go out every two years for election in the House and every four years in the Senate. So, you know, the thing that's lacking isn't the right structure. The thing that's lacking is the right set of priorities and a connection between revenue projection and level of spending. It's, it's as simple as you balancing your personal check.